If you guys need any grinding done in season number five of my team, be sure to hit up my guy Rose NBA on Twitter. 100% legit and really reliable. Be sure to go hit him up. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Bio2K. And today, man, I'm bringing you guys a video talking about something that... I feel like I just need to make a video on, um, and it is going to be about this Thurl Bailey and whether or not you guys should be locking in your tokens for this Thurl Bailey. So if you guys do or not understand how to get to the Dark Matter token market, you do have to redeem at least one Galaxy Opal in the token market to be able to unlock the Dark Matter stuff. Uh, actually, I probably can now. I was going to show you guys. Um, you know the animation that it shows and everything but I did actually close app and when you close app It does not actually wait. I don't think I did actually never mind wait. I think I think I'm, uh, yeah, I did okay Well rip to that anyway, um, but it does a little cool animation It opens up and then you do obviously get to get into the dark matter token market where you will actually end up seeing this dark matter matter throw Bailey card now Really quick before I get into this video, if you guys do enjoy it, do me a favor and kill that like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Would be greatly appreciated. And I am live on Facebook Gaming right now recording this video. So if you guys ever want to see these videos recorded live, if you guys ever want insights on these videos to kind of take advantage of some things before I actually post the video, be sure to follow up to the streams. The links are always, or the link is always in the description down below. And like I said, I do stream like every single day. So anyway, getting back into Thurl Bailey, the reason why you guys are here, this Thurl is pretty nice. I mean, I'll, I'll say that right out the gate. I mean, his stats and everything, I mean, they look pretty good for the most part. I mean, the badges look pretty good, um, but there's one main problem that I do have with this Thurl Bailey. Now, as far as badges go, compared to the Galaxy Opal, yes, he does have some upgraded badges. There is, I will say, the positive to this Thurl is that he does have some upgraded badges where you kind of see fit or whatever. Um, but also, you can throw in more badges to him, like Dimer. You could throw uh, Blinders on him. You could throw Limitless. You could throw Chef on him. You could throw Deadeye, uh, Floor General. Like, a lot of badges like that are pretty good. And he already does come with a lot of the really good badges as well which is all really nice, right? Like everything about this card does look pretty good, right? But really my problem with this is that you have to spend a thousand tokens once you get to the dark matter token market. So already you have to spend a bunch of tokens through the, you know, uh, pink diamond or through diamond, through pink diamond, through the opal one. Like the opal one, you know, takes away 750 tokens already. Now I'm talking again, I'm making this video specifically for the average player that plays this game. I'm not talking, I'm not making this video for the my team sweats that lock in every set and have thousands and thousands and thousands of tokens that they don't know what to do with. I'm talking about the people that specifically play this game, don't really have a whole lot of tokens and they're kind of making the decision to get this card. If I'm being completely honest, I'm going to tell you guys to hold off on getting this card as of right now. The reason why is because if you guys hold off right now, next season, we are definitely going to be seeing, uh, we're definitely going to be seeing another dark matter in the token market here. And I do want to bring up this right here. So I'm going to show you guys the comparison and everything between these two cards. Obviously the height and the wingspan are the same. The hot zones are still the same. And again, when you look at the badges, yes, again, the dark matter does have 10 extra Hall of Fame badges, which is really good. Uh, looking at the stats out, like I said before on my stream, just comparing these two, you guys are going to see, I mean, none of this stuff matters. I mean, the only thing that somewhat matters out of all of these stats, in my opinion, is really going to be the speed and the acceleration. Everything else is based on thresholds in this game where if you have it high enough, you're not really going to be able to see a difference in between that, especially if you're adding in a shoe or um, excuse me, if you're adding in a coach boost that you probably already have, like you're not really going to see the difference, right? Like 95 speed. So obviously plus five with a coach that I'm assuming most people use. If you just look at this, like 95 speed versus 98 speed, you're really not going to see a difference in my opinion. Like you're really not going to. The defense, same thing. There's really nothing that is that crazy of a difference, especially if you are adding in that coach and that shoe factor um, as well. So you're really, as far as stats wise, you're not going to be seeing any difference there. Animation wise, everything is the same except for uh, the jump shot is on quick now which is good. Um, I mean, obviously they did upgrade that, which is nice. His dribble style did change as well. Um, but still, I don't, again, for the average player, I don't really see this being that big of a difference. The reason why, and I'm going to get into some other options as well and just uh, like in a couple minutes here. Uh, but the main thing is, is when you take a look at Thurl Bailey, you also have to look at a guy like Danny Ferry, who is going to cost you so much less in the long run. And you're most likely going to be able to find one that is badged up 
for pretty, I don't want to say cheap, but like, even if he is 100 to 150k, if you can get one with extra Hall of Fame badges and stuff, that is still worth it than locking in a card for a thousand tokens, like, when there's probably going to be better ones dropping here uh, pretty soon, so... Looking at all this again, pretty cool. Going into the badges here, this is where I see, you know, people trying to make the argument about what's better and what's not, right? So here's the deal, okay? Post spin technician, whatever. Back down punisher, I mean, unless you're mash man, you don't got to worry about that at all, right? Going into the shooting badges here, this is obviously the biggest difference between the two cards. Catch and shoot, corner, set shooter, all really good badges. Again, I'm not saying that they're not. I'm just saying, like, it's really not that big of a deal to not have them on hall of fame like it's really not like if you're gonna if you're gonna green your shot you're gonna green your shot you know what i mean um green machine this is super the badge is like dumb cheap so like i mean yes it's upgraded you don't have to but like it's like 5k to put gold green machine on it um and then again you can do all the other upgrades and stuff like that um playmaking badges this is where i think you see the biggest upgrades actually it's never mind the shooting badges this is where i feel like like base wise not cards or not badges that you can add on to it base wise if you look hall of fame ankle breaker hall of fame handles hall of fame quick chain like that's all really good and hall of fame hyperdrive as well all pretty good but everything else remains the same and then defensively you do get all the main badges on hall of fame already pickpocket rebound chaser both get put on hall of fame but again for the average player you're not going to be seeing a difference between gold and hall of fame on a lot of these different badges and besides in my opinion rebounding super algo based anyway so again even having it on hall of fame it's nice and don't get me wrong like obviously it does matter but you're not really going to be seeing an insanely big difference between the two um between the two of being hall of fame or gold and everything like that so again going back into this card here i really don't think that there is a purpose to seeing or to really buying this thorough bailey and i'm not trying to be negative i love the fact that they did actually add in this i'm just making this video specifically so you guys understand that like honestly i would save your tokens realistically it's not worth it in my opinion to waste all your tokens on this um and especially because as of right now a lot of these sets are definitely jumping back up in price i was actually talking to my chat about potentially locking in these sets or whatever to get the tokens and everything like that but you guys can see a card like tony allen has skyrocketed in price because of this thorough bailey now i'm actually going to be making a video on this probably later today as well so be sure to stay tuned for that but yeah there is definitely tons of mt to be made in these cards so if you guys can get them for cheap if you guys have them i honestly recommend selling these cards too if you do not have them locked in because it is definitely worth it like the value is definitely jumped up on a lot of these cards like this dennis rodman was even going for like 30 40k and now you guys can see the cheapest one is what 50 yeah, 59K. So, I mean, there's a lot of profit to be made. And it's not just that one. These ones definitely jumped up in price as well. I mean, Allen Houston's actually still relatively cheap. Maybe Paige low key is too, because he was a part of that wheel spin. So, no, actually, Paige is even going for 20K. So, I definitely recommend taking advantage of this. Like I said, I'll probably make a video on this later today. Um, but I just don't think it's worth it. I think you can definitely capitalize more on this situation, MT wise, than you can by locking in this set for token or locking it or locking in this card with all the tokens and everything like that. So again, there's a ton of other replacements I feel like you can replace. So if you're looking at like a three slash, what, three slash four, I mean, Ben Wallace, the power within one is obviously a very solid option. You guys could definitely look at, um, as I was talking about before, Danny Ferry, I mean, you could definitely find one that is badged up um that you know has additional hall of fame badges is badged out gold wise like this one he has 61 golds um well, this one has two extra hall of fame badges so like even if you guys do have to get you know to that 100k mark i would still really recommend doing this more than i would recommend actually locking in for thorough bailey that's just kind of how it is but yeah honestly i'm gonna just tell you guys again uh save your tokens it's really not worth it let me know your guys opinions down below in the comments though i am curious to know how you guys feel about this throw bailey again i'm not trying to be completely negative in a positive way there is badges that you guys can upgrade on this card that you previously were not allowed to i just still don't think it's worth it i don't think it's personally ever worth it to badge out a free card that's that's kind of something that i feel like like a token card is a free card I personally do not think it is ever worth having to badge up a free card because if you badge up a card that you, you know, can sell, if you don't like the card in a couple of days, you can throw it up and make more profit because you badged it up. Once you throw these badges on here, that's it. The value's done, value's cooked. And in a couple of days when, you know, we still have moments of the month coming. So there's a lot of cards that we're going to be getting that could potentially be better than this. So that's just my opinion. You guys let me know how you guys feel about it. 
thank you guys so much for watching and yeah peace